In these next 100 days, I'm going to battle on Mars, learn to survive on the planet, and find out what secrets lay on its crimson surface. Remember, the hostiles on this planet are extremely dangerous. Stay alive and complete your mission. There is no rescue party. Good luck, Sergeant. Aye, aye, Captain. What the? Wait, what's going on? Oh crap, we're going down! We're going down! What the? As the world loaded in, I tried to get my bearings. Fire raged all around me. Oh, my toes! I backed off and then went to the edge of the hill. A crash ship. I made my way down to investigate. Huh, chests. I opened the chest and inside I found a bunch of organic material. This must have been some sort of settlement ship. I poked around a little more trying to figure out what was going on. The ship looks like it's from the future. Oh, what was that? I found another chest, but inside its contents shook me. Destroyer and some sort of helmet. Is this Sanskrit? I put the helmet on. Whoa, what is? I disabled whatever that was. I needed to get some answers on why I was here and where even here was. I grabbed up the chest as materials seem pretty scarce here. I is that a whimpering? As I was leaving, I couldn't help but notice a strange sound. I looked around to try and figure out where it was. Yo, is, is it friendly? Some sort of robot animal was trapped. I put out the fire and made my way towards it. It had some sort of weird looking reactor in it. All right, let's get you out of here, little buddy. I made a wooden pickaxe with my supplies and mined us a little staircase. No, are you missing a leg, little guy? Well, we're gonna find you a new one. I guess he trusted me because he began to follow me out. Whoa, what is... I backed up. Something was outside. The dog ran into a corner and began spinning. I went dead silent. I had no idea what it was, but the sounds it was making was something I'd never heard before. What the? I seized the opportunity and I ran. Oh, ouch. No, 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 go, 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 go. I got over the ridge and looked back. The dog had made it. We ran. I had no idea what that thing was, but I was not sticking around to find out. As we traveled looking for any sign of life, I noticed a giant structure in the distance. Ah, uh, it's some sort of... Uh, whoa! I was batted off. Holy shnikes, what are... I tried to battle back, but there were too many. I ran. Hopefully the doggo could keep up. Oh, frick, I hate this place. I hate this place. I found a cave and dove in, hoping they couldn't chase me. They could. Two hearts back. I needed to make a stand. All of a sudden, the cave began collapsing on the creatures. I ran to the end of the mine, and I mined down. Faster, faster. Oh, no! I plummeted through the air and landed in a pool of water. I began to walk out of it, looked behind me, and the doggo had made it, too. We were safe for now. Huh. Lava on Mars. That's kind of weird. He is here. I must warn the others. If I wanted to survive, it was time to gear up. So I made a stone pickaxe, gathered some iron. Oh, diamonds. I went and grabbed some coal, smelted down my iron, and mined up the diamonds. What was... What was that? Whatever it was, I did not want to meet it. I grabbed up my supplies, and I booked it. Ah, uh, there it is again. Let's, let's go, doggo. We ran. I grabbed a little bit more iron. Oh, okay. No, time to go. I made it to the outlet of the cave, and in the distance, I saw today's sponsor, Dragon Raja. Dragon Raja is a super fun fantasy MMORPG that can be played on your phone or on a PC. The graphics in this game were what caught my eye at first, and because the game is so perfectly optimized, it feels like I'm carrying a AAA quality console around in my pockets. Dragon Raja is an incredibly vast open world that is waiting to be explored by you and your friends, if you have any. I don't. You have the freedom to play however you want, and it all starts by customizing your character exactly the way you want it to look and could end with you having the house of your dreams. Dragon Raja is currently celebrating its second anniversary, and they're running several different different contests over on their Facebook page, which include a cosplay contest in which the winner's image will be cartoonalized as an in-game profile picture and sent to all the players as a gift. In-game celebrations will run from February 24th until March 16th with a free gift packages including a free limited vehicle. Don't miss this opportunity and download Dragon Raja right now so you can be whoever and play however. Check out their official Facebook page from the link in the description and get a ton of rewards as well as more information. Links are below to start playing. Playing now to find the obelisk. Huh, these things seem to be marking my ship. I made my way down the hill to investigate the remains and see if I could find more clues to why I was here. Huh, there doesn't seem to be anything here. I climbed up using some blocks and on the top floor I found a chest. Another hologram. Captain, I've entered the lower atmosphere. Good. I don't need to remind you of the importance of this mission. The Borgians have destroyed too many planets in this sector. We can't let another fall. Our preliminary scans show life on the planet. Some may be hostile, others not. Whatever happens, 
do not engage with the life forms. We can't interfere with their development. There was some sort of object in the chest, but I didn't know what it did. I made my way out when I was attacked by giant beasts. I was hit down a crack on Mars. Well, at the bottom, I accidentally right-clicked on the item, and it was a shield. Whoa, an energy shield. I wasn't hiding. I had a shield and a sword. I climbed up, but I was instantly mobbed. I couldn't run without the doggo. I took a stand. All of a sudden, more mobs showed up. They were armed with spears. I had to battle through everybody. Wait, wait, wait. They're, they're attacking them. They're helping me. I began using my energy shield and battling down the giant creature. I sank my blade into them and ended them one by one. No one was standing between me and my puppy. I thanked the villagers. Come with us. We have a village that can protect you. It's not safe out here. We all broke out and we began venturing towards their home. As I looked around, it seemed quite modern, yet it seemed to lack technology. Is that a... Oh no! Oh, that's dinner. Hey, stop attacking the poor villager. I decided to name my dog Speedy. He was missing a leg, but that didn't stop him from chasing anything down. Okay, sit. No eating villagers. He looked a little guilty when all of a sudden... Guys, 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 I'm coming. Oh. I'm okay. Uh, they took Charlie! I volunteer to help and go get him. Good. Meet me in front of the village. I began prepping for the rescue mission. Whatever creature had taken the boy might have answers to why I'm here. I cooked up some iron, avoided some potholes. <laughs> Speedy. Nice job. I borrowed some food from the villager's house. I was about to be their hero. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Space rocks. Huh. Potatoes it is. Oh, hello. Um, yes. Just, just wave. I can't wave, so I'm just gonna go. I made the rest of my armor when I noticed some dirt nearby. I collected it, placed it down, and placed the saplings on top that I'd gotten from earlier. It was now time to go. We gathered up at the edge of the city and rolled out. We were gonna crush whatever stood in our way. Max was coming back. His name is Charlie. Yeah, uh, him too. We arrived at what looked like a giant camp. You go around and circle in from the back. We will attack head on. The men or aliens or whatever they are departed and I made my way around. Wait, it's, it's the boy. The creatures were trying to escape with him. I pursued, but some of them broke away from the detachment and I had to battle. Come on, bring it. They brought it and I was at half a heart. Speedy, you're so slow. Where are you? I slashed relentlessly. Come on, one down. Let's go, let's go. I was doing damage, but there were so many and they were getting away with the boy. I ate up, drew destroyed and went in. I brought one down and then two. Let's go, one more. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, let's wait to get onto the boy now. I sprinted it out. There he is. But as he was making his escape, I noticed another obelisk. Mm, if I go after him, I may lose this. Frick. I gave up the chase and I went to the wreck. I had to find more clues as to why I was here. A chest. I opened the chest and inside I found some sort of hologram. I have read the prime directive, Captain. Don't forget it. Your mission is to land as close to the main facility as possible. Assemble the mech suit and destroy the robot army's leader. Just make sure you get out of there before everything explodes. Confused, I drew the rest of the contents out. Inside, I found a chest plate with weird writing and some food. I made my way out of the wreck. Oh, there you are, Speedy. Now you show up, huh? After the fighting. As I climbed up, I was struck by blue creatures. I was about to run, but Speedy was still behind. Speedy, get out of there. Mm, crap. I jumped back into battle. They were going down, touching my doggo with anything but treats as a request of death. Destroyer began melting their icy bodies as the cavalry rolled in. Yes, let's go. The villagers were helping and they watched as I finished off the final few. Come on, let's go. You can't stand up to my blade. I brought down the evil monster. As I walked back, I noticed we had lost a soldier. This war that was beginning was already rotting with casualties. Did you find the boy? No, um, um, they got away. With heavy hearts, we moved out. We had lost the boy, but something bigger was afoot. We arrived back at the village and everyone dispersed. Oh, hey, my trees grew. The hologram seemed to be familiar, but I couldn't figure out where I knew it from. I chopped down the trees and and made some pickaxes. All right, Speedy, you stay here. I'm gonna go mining. I replanted the saplings and then I moved out. I found an opening in a cave and gathered some iron, diamonds, and even found some veins of gold. My main goal here was to collect a ton of deep slate for my house build. I mined out a huge chunk of the ground, but little did I know would emerge from the embers of the molten lava nearby. With almost enough deep slate, I was ready to leave when... Holy, what is that thing? I battled with Destroyer, but it was wrecking me. I crashed in on it, readying to smite it. Oh! 
Oh, it's smiting me. With one heart, I barely made an escape. I returned, rallying my last bit of strength to destroy this creature. Oh, build, build. I created a mini barrier, healed up, and hovered over my shield, trying to mitigate any incoming blows. Crap, I gotta go. I ran with one heart. I needed to heal. Space sucks. I healed up and drew him out onto a flat plane. What is this deal? There we go. He fell, but I had an uneasy feeling. I raced back to the village. Oh, no. It was being invaded by yellow monsters. I sprinted in. Taste my blade, you ugly mutt. The monsters were destroying the villagers. I did all I could. Okay, space rocks, space rocks. Bodies lay everywhere, but I kept fighting. Yeah, last one. A villager ran by screaming. I found a couple more by the potholes, but they were dumb and fell right in. Thank you. They are Another one. I sprinted over. Let's tango. I brought it down. I went back to... As I was saying. Speedy! I ran over to make sure he was okay. He was sitting where I told him to. That's a relief. I told him to follow me. Ugh. They come from the deep caves above the ridge. We headed out. Whatever existed in those caves was about to meet me and my three-legged dog. Huh. This must be it, boy. We maneuvered through the entrance to what seemed like a soul sand area. Another monster. I rushed in, sword drawn. Go down. Yeah, eat my toes. Dead ahead, I spotted another and another. Ganging up, eh? I was on two hearts. I created distance. Then, Speedy attacked. Yeah, feel the wrath. Ouch. I backed off again. Speedy was doing good damage. I rushed in and I dealt the final blow. Inside the cave, I found chests, and inside the chest, some food. Yay, more space rocks. I found some spoiled potions and even more food as I pushed forward. Come here, boy! A monster tried to get us, but I jumped him. Then, out of nowhere, another attacked. I was trapped with two hearts. This may be the end. Oh, yo, what is happening here? I looted another chest and pushed on. That's another one. It lunged at me, but with Destroyer by my side, it stood no chance. And Speedy. Come on, block, hit, block, and he's down. I opened the chest, and inside I found some sort of energy bag. Battery. Huh, wonder what this does. I right clicked on it when all of a sudden two swords appeared in my inventory and then it went back to a single sword. Huh. That was weird. Whoa, what the? The sword gave some sort of special ability as the battery was added. As I marched forward, I spotted a giant. This must be the beast sending the monsters after us. <laughs> Another villager. Wait, you are Die. The beast jumped and smashed me as I was thrown backwards. I tried throwing my potions, but I missed. I tried throwing the second one, but I hit myself somehow. This isn't going well. Okay. Oh! I swapped my shield on and grabbed my water buckets. All right, let's eat this gap. It's time to end this ugly man. Oh, not again. Water bucket this time, you Pikachu-looking alien. As I swung, I was planning my next move. This thing did heavy damage, and I wasn't sure I was going to make it out without some sort of plan. I landed a water bucket as the giant blob began summoning mini earthquakes. He made his way towards me. Eat some. Oh, oh, one heart. Run, run, run. I got a gap. Got a gap. Okay. All right, let's head back in. All right, what the? He threw a giant pillar at me. He was literally moving the earth to smite me. What was this creature? What did I ever do to him? Okay, I guess I stabbed him. Me and Speedy were getting good shots in when... Oh, come on. Now what? Oh, of course. More monsters. Frick, let's get them, Speedy. I ran over to the monsters the giant had summoned. If they all grouped up with the giant, I would definitely get murked. I needed to take them out quick. Okay, we got two, Speedy. We were taking them down, but then I was at one and a half hearts. Gotta eat up. They're coming. The final monster approached with the giant at his back, but I took him out. All right, big man. You and me. Oh, what? He punched me. Who is this man, Logan Ball? I ran back in. I used my sword's ability and swung like crazy. Wow. Yes, he dropped. Whoa, whoa. Why did you have to leave me? This doesn't make any sense. Your mother died a hero. <laughs> we have a lot to thank her for. I know. I just, I wish we had more time. I was jolted back. What the heck was that? It almost felt like a flashback. My head was spinning, but I needed to get out of this cave, so me and Speedy began our ascent. I returned to the village a hero. Fireworks shot off as I walked in. Okay, this is a bit much. People were waving, cheering. This was crazy. Ah, hello, hello. Okay, this, this needs to stop. I began the construction of my new home. I wanted to build a modern theme with exposed stone types. I finished digging out the area and laid the foundation of stone brick. You made it back. Scan. We must invade now before it's too late, or he will have our heads. Go get the men to war. I finished up the floor and then added in the first accent wall. I added some pillars and some glass panes. All right, we need to get some food going. I made a small farm and prepared to fix my armor. Hello. Oh, yo, what the heck? We found the wreckage nearby and it had the items inside it. The villager dropped some strange armor piece and another hologram. Remember, soldier, don't trust anybody there. They may have men. 
This isn't adding up. I put away the hologram and put on my armor. Oops, uh, sorry. All of a sudden, I heard shrieking. The village was under attack. I rushed in, sword drawn. I used the pulse wave and dealt heavy damage, but they were clobbering me. I need to rally the soldiers. They're all hiding. Guys, we can do this. We just need to... Ooh! I was lit on fire like a hot dog over a fire pit. I made my way into a house, crafted a bucket, picked up some fresh water, and I rushed back in to face the invaders. All right, come here. I swung frantically and released another pulse wave, and it fell. Why on earth did those things attack? Bodies lay in the field. It was time to gear up and stop this. I grabbed some boots. Oh, why do you keep sneaking up on me? They took Johnny. I grabbed my food, and we headed out to track them down. Whoa, what the heck? It looks like an engine bay. I approached, looking for more clues. Another hologram and some rations. They're dangerous. They seem friendly, but they aren't. The holograms were hinting at something, but I couldn't tell what. It all seems so familiar. A camp. Let's approach slowly, gang. We got close. Ahead, I could see more of those raiders. Maybe they were holding Johnny. Okay, we gotta stay back. We gotta be... Oh! Oh, Johnny! No way! Okay, charge. He charged in and began lighting them up with my blade. Nice try, but your staff is made out of tree and mine's made out of pure energy, I, I think. I smashed through the remaining stragglers. Crap, I'm on fire again. We gotta take out that squad. Slowly they dropped, but something was afoot here. Where did you all come from and why? A new type of soldier came out. I was prepared for the worst. I healed up. It was two verse one, but I shook them with the pulse wave and they dropped. I ran to the tent to see if Johnny was in there, but all I found was food. As I made my way into the tent, a body lay on the floor. Boy, get back, you filth. I ended their lives and began creating a burial for the fallen soldier when I was attacked again. All right, go down, you swine. This is my camp now. I finished off the little burial and grabbed the food. Johnny was nowhere to be found. Oh, man. I browsed around and inside of one of the barrels I found another energy battery. I right clicked it and my sword accepted it as a new force. My pulse wave was upgraded to a shock wave. Oh, this is pretty sick. I wonder what else this sword can do. As we began to leave, I made my way through the ruins. I'll take this. Man, this thing is massive. These things don't still exist here, right? They must be extinct now. I was safe. I moved back to the main camp with the villager and Speedy. Everything was normal when I returned and I began working on the next layer of my home. I made the second floor using the deep slate and stone brick mix. I went to cook some food. We've gotten... Oh, oh. We've gotten... Word that the raiders have made a base near us. Please help us. Even though he just gave me a heart attack, I had to help. I grabbed my things. Maybe we could negotiate before this turned into a full-scale war. Me and Speedy headed out. That's it, boy. L let's see if we can talk to them. I saw a shooting star. Maybe that was a good sign. All right, listen up. Ah, crap. I accidentally killed the raider that approached me and turned it into a full-scale battle. All right, now you're just annoying me. Everyone dies. A new type of raider began battling me. They were evolving. Something was behind all this. I destroyed the final one and spotted an archer running. As I got closer, I was attacked. Oh, these are ranged ones. Oh boy, I'm low, I'm low. I drew my shield and activated my ability and they fell. One left. Let's destroy him. He fell down a crack in the earth. As I rounded the corner, I met another and sunk my blade into him. What is this place? Oh. I was interrupted by another raider with a bow and I sprang into action. Death to your invading kind. I explored the broken temple. Something used to worship here. What happened? As I turned, I could see a figure out in a field surrounded by some sort of corpse. I made my way forward. Another villager come to chat with. Wait, you're not a villager? We engaged. All right, it doesn't seem to be doing too much. Oh, he does damage. I tried using my ability, but it wouldn't work. Something was wrong here. Are those turrets he's pelting me with? He was turning up the jets, but I wasn't backing down. Okay, if I can just keep pouring in damage here. I was outmatched and outgunned as I went to heal. He did heavy damage. I was almost dead. Speedy ran to me to block the shots. That or he was hungry. One screw up in this fight and this giant would take me out. I had to be smart. Is that? Did he just shoot down one of the... What is that? A rocket launcher marked me, but didn't go off. Thank the Lord. I kept fighting and took down the Ravenger. I got this. Yes, those are some good hits. He raised his staff and threw it, but he missed. Oh, he's got back again. Speedy was doing work, and together we were winning. I was saving the villagers. This is all that mattered. Yes, I knocked him down. He got back up and initiated the rocket launcher again. Oh, crap. What's happening? The rockets targeted the pillars. They began collapsing. I dodged them as all the Ravengers hanging from them were let loose. It was chaos. Okay, you got to target one at a time. Holy crap, he's got a flamethrower. 
The leader began pelting me with his flames. I took down the last of the raiders and headed in for him. He's so close. We got this. We got this. I ate up. I could taste victory, and I could taste the smoke that he had just let me on fire. Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. All of a sudden, the ground beneath me fell. What is this, lava? Cracks all around, threatening to swallow me up. I had to be careful. His turrets fired as I dodged their array. There were holes everywhere. I made my way back to him, and with fury, I dug my sword into him with everything I had left. I got all. Really? Again? Why are you so obsessed with joining the war? People are out there dying and- Yeah, and if you get enlisted, you'll be dead too. Is that what you want? What? And wait till the enemy destroys our planet too? I don't deserve to live in safety any more than those soldiers. If people are going to risk their lives, I have no right to do any less. Fine. I'll see what I can do. I was jolted back to reality by a Ravenger who hit me. The strange interface appeared again. The turret from the boss had dropped. I picked it up and then inspected it some more. Huh, I wonder if I can use this. Crap, Speedy! The bones had fallen everywhere. Where was he? Speedy, Speedy! I desperately ran through. I met another Ravenger and I sent him into the abyss. Speedy! Speedy helped me take down the last Ravenger. We were okay. You scared me, big fella. I didn't want to stay here any longer than I had to. I had to tell the villagers we were safe now. We had done it. I really need to find you a leg, eh, boy? Speedy did a cute little spin. He agreed. On our way back, we stumbled across another obelisk. All right, big man. Let's see what this one has. I made my way up, scouring for a chest. There it is. When you get there, assemble a mech. It's your only chance. This doesn't make any sense. Let's go, Speedy. We headed back to camp, but little did I know the wrath that was coming for my actions. Arriving back at base camp, I collected my crops, put my stuff away when I heard cheering. Why did I save these guys again? I made my way towards the crowd. The planet is quaking. Reports of a dreadful evil. You must go warn the other villages or they will be wiped out. I ran, grabbed my food and sprinted out. I didn't know what was happening, but it didn't sound good. We're almost there. I is that? Another obelisk. I had to know what was inside. I'm sure the village would be okay if I came back a bit later. I headed in. This looks like some sort of mess hall. Another chest and inside a hologram. Stop the mechanized beasts up there. We're not sure what they're capable of. Head to the- Head to the what? Head to the what? This doesn't make any sense. I grabbed the armor from the chest and raced to the village. Something's wrong. Be on your guard, Speedy. The village was ablaze. I made my way to see bodies lining the ground. You! I rushed in. It was more of the fire monsters, only they had bows now. I was knocked back and he rained fire from his depths to end me. Me and Speedy weren't going to be deterred. We fought. We're not getting him. Run, Speedy. Run! I released my sword's ability and murked one and then began to battle the final. Holy crap, he does damage. I need to heal. I made it around the corner and ate up. Speedy was still over there. I ran back in. You're going down. I healed up and charged him with vengeance and he dropped. Something was very wrong. The earthquakes, now this, something big was coming. I had to get back to the village and protect it. We need to get back to the village. Holy! I was attacked by more of those monsters, but they had armor. Wait, these aren't armored. They're, they're robots. I battled and released my pulse wave, taking most of them down. Y'all are still ugly. The final one fell. Something bad was happening. I rushed back to the village. I put away my tech turn. It. Hey, no eating the villager. I had to build a wall. I had a feeling something bad was coming. I started by mining out a huge section of terracotta. I was going to build a three high wall to try and slow down any incoming troops and give the villagers time to prepare for an inevitable attack. I began construction of the wall using the same tone for the first two layers and then topping it with a brown tone. All of a sudden, I heard an explosion. They were here. Fight everyone. Wait, raptor mechs? Dinosaurs made from steel attacked. The villagers rallied. I can get some damage and okay, no, 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 I'm low. I tried to get some swings in, but I was at no health, so I retreated to heal. The raptors were singling me out, almost ignoring the rest of the villagers. I need to end this before they wipe everyone out. I re-engaged. I took one of them down. Man, who made you? I ran back to the house. Speedy. Speedy! I ran around looking. He was nowhere. I ran through the village. Oh, they took everyone and your dog. I quickly made it back to the house, grabbed food, and headed out. Speedy was taken. He went that way. Ah. I chased. Speedy was all I had left. They weren't getting away with this. Ah, come here, you goons. I caught up to them, but now there were raptors that shot lasers? I let them taste my sword, but I was wounded. Speedy! I ran over and let him up and returned to the battle. Me and Speedy were doing damage, but three versus one. It was not looking good. I dipped in water as I was on fire. I pulse waved and they fell. Good boy. Good job slowing them down. Huh. An obelisk, eh? I walked in and inside I found a chest with another hologram. Head to the facility. The beasts seem to be coming from there. It is located in... 
located where? Where? Uh. Inside the chest, I found another mech part. What was this supposed to build? Threw it down and took a look at it. It seemed to be a main body component. A turret and now a body. I wonder if I can find the legs. I grabbed Speedy and we headed back home. We were safe for now. I felt a bit uneasy. War was coming. With a little time on my hands, I decided to finish my house. I topped the roof off with an oak floor and then built up supports and additional glass. I used stone to build the walls and deep slate to finish the roof and add accents. I repaired the wall and then went back inside. What is going on out there? Can't a guy... Ah, frick! The red giant men were back, but they were breathing fire and huge! Come here, you slimy, long-necked monsters! They were everywhere. The villagers were hiding except for a few brave soldiers. We stood our ground. This was our home now. More soldiers united and helped fight back, but I was getting wrecked. Put out the fire, put out the fire. I was on fire again. I made my way around the house to eat and heal. Oh, there's one right here. I took him down and headed back into the battle blade out. I was battled back, but I returned with fury. Something bigger was going on here. I could feel it. Let's go, you spawn of Hades. With one left, I charged in as he swung at a villager and I ended him. The villager cheered. Me and the villagers found more on the outside and we took them out. Soldiers lay dead everywhere. I grabbed some more food. I was going to find out who was responsible. We've had reports that they are coming from the ridge behind the village. I cannot come with. Good luck. I headed out. Whatever or whoever was summoning these demons was going to face my fury. Ruins. Something, something feels wrong here. Pushed in with Speedy. Dead ahead, I spotted movement. I moved quicker so it couldn't get away. Oh, another one. I jumped into a crater and released my shockwave and destroyed it. I looked around for clues on who used to live here when I found a chest. A battery and, and some gold. Something once lived here and it looked like they were a tech society of some kind. Fire, fire, fire. I was set ablaze by another monster, but I sprinted at it with no fear. I backed off as I was on fire, but I gave it no time to think and I rushed back in. Yeah, go down. I moved forward and found a hand soldier guarding a temple. I used the battery on my sword and upgraded again. All right, let's try this out. Let's go. Oh, gosh, this thing murked him. My sword had some sort of laser on it now. It was overpowered. I inspected around what seemed like an old temple. A sarlacc. What's a sarlacc? Oh, that's a sarlacc. A giant beast emerged from the crater in the temple and tried to eat me. I battled back, shooting lasers and smashing its giant head every time it dipped. It bowed its head again and I struck. What is this thing? I continued continued poisoning me every time it sank its teeth into me and his acidic spit did heavy damage as well. Come on, you big worm, eat my lasers. I lit it up, unleashing the fury of my sword. All right, we need holy biscuits. It unleashed fire and spit at the same time and nearly killed me. I fired back when all of a sudden... Are those... What the? Giant tentacles emerged around the worm. Holy snakes, I need to take these things down. The old pillars of the temple began to crumble as the tentacles shook them, so I rushed in and removed their life force from existence. I continued to fight with everything I had. Gapple after gapple, I took the beast's hits and came back for more. All of a sudden, the Sarlacc summoned his minions. The giant red monsters emerged. He was behind them. I took a break to destroy his spawn, but I was forced to retreat and barely made it out with my life. All right, let's out. Hey, let me up. In my way back onto the battlefield and lit up the red monsters with lasers and finished them off with my blade. I returned to the giant worm and all of a sudden he spawned a lake of lava on my head. I poison, I poison, heal. More monsters spawned. I had to end this. Lava, crap, heal, heal. I was met with another burst of lava as I tried to get back up. I healed and then faced down the titan. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, come on. I kept putting myself out as I kept being lit on fire. Half a heart, half a heart. I healed up and then with half health, I charged back in. Come on, I'm not leaving. Let's go. One heart, one heart. He dropped. Oh. Come on, let's go. Congratulations on the promotion, Captain. <laughs> now I'll finally get to boss you around. Oh, my head. What the? Crackers! The temple was collapsing and I ran out. Speedy met me. My head was pounding. Who am I seeing in this vision? <clears throat> I grabbed up some food from the destroyed village and headed up. I needed answers. I needed to find the facility. Oh no! The village was on fire. The monsters were here! Let's go, Speedy. The wall had fallen. Bodies lay in the wake. I began clobbering the beasts. Go down, you mutants. They were grouping up. Me and Speedy faced them and with little health, but with faith. All right, I need more food. Faith isn't enough. I crafted some bread and headed out to meet the enemy. I canceled the first one I saw and then was attacked by three. Retreat, eat, eat, eat. I used my laser and sent them to a much needed grave. One more and yes. No. 
the villagers. They were all dead. Ah, please don't hurt me. Hey! I jumped down. What happened here? They came from the facility. The end is here. Their armies are marching. Ah! One more remained. I charged at full speed. Come here, you runt. I destroyed him. It was time to end this. It was time to save this world. I made some golden carrots. The beast that had invaded where I spawned at the beginning, he must have been looking for something. Goodbye. Thank you for taking me in. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I headed back to the original ship I had crashed in to see if there was something I was missing. Why would there be an obelisk here unless... Let's go! I rushed in. I was met with mecha raptors. They launched me back, but I retaliated and took them down. What are you? Oh, my lasers! Two down, one to go. Okay, maybe more than one. I faced down the last and charged in. Oh! into the air. I landed it and landed it again. Two were on me and they were beating me back. I had to see what was in that ship. I took down the last of them and then pushed into the ship. Another hologram. If the Borgians take another planet, all hope may be lost. The facility is located in the northeastern quadrant of the planet. That building is your only mission. It was time for the villagers, for humankind. I was going to the facility with sword drawn. Somebody was dying today. After some traveling, I spotted in the distance the facility. It looks so dead. Alright, let's go, Speedy. I found a broken path that led across. I pour cord across the lava-filled chasm. What was so precious they were guarding with lava? Whoa, let's avoid these. Ah, okay, how do I... Oh, crackers. The platform began to move. I knew what I had to do. I jumped onto the first one. I had to keep it up or it would drop me. All right, let's keep my footing. Let's walk with this. Come on, be smart. I was almost there. It was so close I could taste it. Ah, easy. All right, let's go. Oh, ouch, 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 what the... The traps got me, but as I looked ahead, my jaw dropped. What on God's orange planet is this? They were giant thompers? Is that, is that a mech part? I had to collect it. This was going to be tough. I made the first jump. All right, all right, stay calm. Okay, here we go. As soon as he lifted, I jumped again. And then I jumped again. I made it to the legs. All right, now that we got these, let's get to the other side. As they crashed, I jumped again from row to row. We were so close. My fingers were honestly trembling at this point. One screw up and we were done. Oh, we made it. Okay, let's press on. I walked into the next room. Whoa. What is all this? Obelisks line the walls like they were being stored here. Something wasn't right. I reached the end of the hallway and walked into a giant open room. I gripped my sword. I felt a gentle cold breeze run over me. All of a sudden, explosions began raging from the other side of the room. As the smoke cleared, I saw the head. He was here. I made my way forward to attack, but I was caught in a trap. What the heck? I need to get out of this. Get out of this. I charged. All right, let's do this. Ooh! He flung me back, but I wasn't backing down. Down. I ate up and faced down the titan as his laser shot at me. Let's do this speedy charge. His steps shook the earth below us. He was ramping it up. I gotta try something here. I threw down the mech parts hoping to figure out how to put them together when all of a sudden they disappeared. Well that oh. A mech fell from the air above me. I climbed in. Oh, this thing is sick. We stood a chance. I unleashed the full fury of the mech on the Rex. I was going to obliterate it. Oh, that's not good. I kept firing as the Rex pounded me back. The mech was taking a beating, but I had to get as much damage in as possible. Self-destruct? I hopped out and booked it. In the distance, I saw it explode and do crazy damage to the Rex. Glad I wasn't in that. All right, now let's finish this, Speedy. We rushed in. This is for that one random villager I can never remember. Remember the name of attack! I unleashed my lasers as the Rex bowed its head and tried to eat me. It smashed its neck into me and I went flying back, but I landed it. Oh, fire, fire, fire. I dodged his fire. He was low. We were close. Come on, eat it, eat it. He was low. He was dead. We did it, Speedy. What was all oh, holy nuts? Speedy, Speedy, no, we need to get back out of here. Speedy, oh, we need to get out, we need to get out. Sergeant, you're alive. Quickly, the reactor core is destabilizing. We need to get out of here now. No, I have to save the villagers. No, you'll die. 